Today, I'm going to show you how to wire in the polar monitoring gateway into the Delta ME300. We'll start by moving the protective cover from the drive to expose the terminals. We're then going to wire in taking power from the 24 volt positive, which is the VM, and the DCM, which is the negative to that. We take the 24 volt positive from the drive to the positive of the gateway and we take the DCM which is the zero volts to the negative of the gateway. Next we're going to connect the RS485 communications. On this drive the communication output is available through the RJ45 port and we'll be connecting this to the bottom of the polar gateway through its terminals. The cable that we're going to have to use is RJ45 to the three pin breakout. The RJ45 cable is not included in the gateway package and will have to be purchased separately. We'll start by plugging in the RJ45 cable into the pin. Next we're going to wire in the breakouts into the polar monitoring gateway. These are broken out into A positive, B negative and ground. We wire A positive into the gateway A positive, B negative into the gateway negative and ground into the Modbus ground. On most drives, the RS485 communications are available through terminals. We'll start by removing the cover. For interest on this Delta CP2000, we have our Modbus cable uh, pinouts available as SG+, which represents Modbus A positive, and SG-, which re represents B negative, and SG ground on the turbo. We're going to wire the gateways A positive into the drives SG plus and the gateways B negative into the SG minus and finally the ground into the shielded ground here at the top. Lastly we need to screw in the antenna. This is accessible through the bottom of the gateway we get to it by removing its protective cover and screwing in the SMA into the polar monitoring gateway. It is important to note that when you installing the antenna, that the antenna must be placed outside of the enclosure as high up as possible and away from any obstructions. Finally, that we've connected everything and gone through our checks, we can power up the unit. When the device is powering on, a few lights will illuminate. Starting with the power light, meaning that the device has got power, Next is the work light, meaning that the device is working, this will flash in normal operation. Our next set of lights that will turn on is the net light. This indicates what network that the device is connected to a network. It will flash twice for 2G connection and four times for an LTE connection. Just below that is the signal strength lights. These lights will illuminate, indicating the strength of the signal. Finally, the link A light will come on, meaning that the, that the gateway is successfully connected to the polar portal. We need to change some communication parameters on the drive in order for the gate, polar gateway to talk to the drive. We get to the settings by going into the mode of the drive, navigating to menu 9 and starting at menu 4. This one is set at 1 by default, which is Modbus ASCII, and we need to change this to 12, which is Modbus RTU. After setting these settings, we can go back and the system is then ready to work. Lastly, we will scan the QR code on the front of the gateway, which will take you to the setup procedure on the Polar Monitoring Platform. 